Hi kings and queens, my name is Hamama Tmontia, model and host. Very passionate, I run an organization called Africa Eats Now, which focuses on um, reducing malnutrition in Africa, and especially Ghana, where I am from. Um, I, I also recently launched a children's book series which is focused on building self-confidence in young girls back at home and also to improve reading and comprehension. If you realize that happiness is an inside job, how do you keep happiness? How do you maintain it? Wow, it's, it's a battle every day. Okay, first of all, I want you to understand that it's not something that just happens once and it's you're gonna be like that for the rest of your life. Every day can change it. You have to constantly pay attention. And I think for the inside, I think what keeps it light up inside of me is that I want to be happy. That light just keeps, so whatever situation I find myself, I just say, choose happiness, choose happiness, choose happiness. And I focus on choose happiness. Because every single day is a new thing. You can't predict what's going to happen. You don't know how you're going to feel. And we're all about feelings. And so you need to be able to keep a space in your heart or in your soul or in your energy that always keeps you focused on what it is that you want. And if it's happiness, it shouldn't be difficult at all. Mm -hmm. So I think what keeps it lighted for me is the... is 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 the longing for it, the want in it. Once you you think, oh, you've got it figured out, for me, that's when you become unhappy. Because happiness has to be on your mind, just like you making money is on your mind, just like your boyfriend is on your mind, <laughs> you know, just like your examination is on your mind, all those things that you focus on every single time and actually achieve them. Happiness needs to be number one. And for me, once you have that inside, it just keeps going. Wow, impressive. That's very good. Then besides positivity, another side that we see um, from you is how you showcase Africa, especially Ghana, through food, music, and also fashion. What are some key takeaways you would want your audience to take away from that, to take away from your social media, to take away from all of the parts of Africa that you're showing? Well, um, I, I kind of have a lot of takeaways, if, if you ask me, because I'm very, I go with the moment. And so everything that allows life to be beautiful, I love to be a part of it. So I'm hoping that people would understand that uh, putting Africa in your fashion is, is important, especially if you're from there, because that's the only way we can keep our culture in some way we need to wear it we need to show it we need to you know have it as a badge because our skin already gives us away that we're from africa or we are black enough to be african but what else but then we are we look african but we don't want to dress or we don't I, most of the times i get people some of my friends like oh you're too african now you're always african and i'm like what do you mean by that I'm African? Because I am. Why should I dress less of who I truly am to be able to be accepted? I mean, it doesn't, I, I don't get it because everybody else just holds up what they have. And maybe, maybe that's, that's what is going to start to really put us together if we start to look alike and, and share that culture. So, um, I'm hoping that fashion is one that you take away. Um, the one number one for me will be just being positive. I stay positive in every situation because I once again I remind myself to, you know, um, and I'm just hoping to touch people to to let people, you know, be light about everything that happens, you know, because yes, it's tough, but if you have no you know, direct control over it. Don't don't waste up all the other moments. A lot of us are not enjoying moments. We're just going with the flow. 
and we sometimes miss all the opportunities around us, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, with the food, for me, that's where I come from, you know? No matter how, wherever I go or travel, I still want to eat home food. Mm -hmm. Just like if you're American and you go to uh, Ghana for a month, you would crave some fries and some good pizza and all the stuff that you like, you know? And so if you don't, and, and, and I just, you know, I love food, you know? I love food, just, you know, I love good food. I love African food. And for me, it reminds me of my childhood anytime I eat, uh, you know, home cooked food because I travel so much and it's not easy to get the, the right, you know, taste and, 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 you know, so I like to share that in, in every, every light, you know, in every way that I can. And I am just so proud to be African that I'm hoping that it would influence a lot more people to be, no matter what it looks like or no matter where we come from. That's what makes us unique. You know, we can't all come from a certain part of the world or, or have A or B or long hair. We, we can't all do that. The, light, the world won't revolve. You know, so for me, I am so proud to be African that I try to show it in every way I can, but not to be aggressive about it because it's not me saying, hey, this is what it should be done. But hey, this is what we have, and this is what we do with what we have. And yeah, what do you have? Because you know, the internet is such a powerful tool that it, it, it can bring together worlds, and that's what we need, you know? And, and I'm hoping that people will just really feel my energy because I try to do my videos as they come. Like every single day, a lot of people or, you know, my team will be like, no, let's film a, a lot of them and then you can post every time. And I don't really like that because I want people to feel how I feel every single time I post something. And I take, I take, you know, messages from, from you, you know, DMs that, um, I make you feel happy. I make you feel, I lift up your spirit for me. That's. That's what keeps me going. It's not the fact that I have comments there, but what kind of comments? Mm -hmm. And so that has to do with energy for me. So I hope you, you really enjoy and take everything, you know, and, you know, let's let's figure out the world together, basically. That's good. And so as a mother of two beautiful children, how do you manage motherhood with the work life, but also traveling all the time? How do you do it? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't do it alone. That's for sure. Okay, so it's it's really difficult, you know, but if you love what you're doing and you love your children and you want them to be the best versions of themselves, then you have to take the, the step to be the best version of yourself, especially me having two girls who who look up to me and want to be like me and, and my, my, my oldest who is four. Zuri, she's always like, Mommy, I want to wear this like you, and Mommy, can I have lipstick like you? And and it, sometimes it scares me. I'm like, whoa, she just wants to be like me. So how can I be the best? Because I don't want her to be any less, you know? And so it's going out and chasing my dreams, but knowing that my reality is also my dream, which, which are my children. Um, I have my mom. You know who is always around me and she's always supporting me with the children i have my sister who is also always around me anytime she gets a chance you know but it's like my mom and my sister just help me keep it together without them i, I wouldn't be able to chase my dreams because i would have to be there and my children are very intelligent you know very smart and i like them to see what i do Every single day we're on FaceTime, you know, I show them, hey, I'm in New York, this is what it looks like. I take them for a walk, you know, and we talk, they answer questions. Um, my daughter has to do her numbers every day by a certain time and then call me or send me a picture if I don't pick up. And I try to be there every single time. Thank God for technology, 
you know that makes it super 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 easy and it's 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 an opportunity we all need to take advantage of mm -hmm. you know and so that binds me but having said that i'm home every single time it's summer and i'm i'm working on my new skincare line and um i'm i'm coming i came here to america to do um that you know to work on that and see how i could bring that business here in America and it has gone great and um, I am working on modeling you know going back to model I've had a lot of you know um, photographers and all of that which have been booked for a long time and I have to do that as well and also because I launched the book you know and I'm trying to read to as many children as possible and just share I love doing that sharing you know, a piece of Africa every way I can, you know, if it's, hey, you want a chocolate? We make the best chocolate, Ghana, <laughs> you know, or hey, you know, let's read a book. Let me tell you about the Ashanti Kingdom, you know, and it's, it's something that I enjoy. I enjoy so much, you know, maybe, I don't know, this is what I was supposed to do, you know? That's true. Yeah. True. And so what advice um, would you give a young black woman who's having a hard time accepting themselves? Accepting themselves, doing good in school, work, even image-wise? Um, well, for me, most of these kind of situations uh, where we women especially find ourselves um, and we, we feel down and our energy is low um, it has to do with our energy it has to do with how we feel inside and that nothing outside can really fix unless you want it to be fixed that's number one I could sit here and say don't do this and don't do that and don't do that but you would you would might you might not do those things but if your inside didn't really want to do them you're still not going to get results. And so I would say that, look, look at every situation you're in as your life story. Look at it from the reverse. Look at it like you're watching a movie about yourself, but you're living this life. And your ultimate goal is to get to point C. And what is in point C? What are your goals? What are your values? What are the things you want to achieve? Have them written down. Point that as your goal. And whatever it is that happens in life that is so bad or so painful, just look at it like you're watching TV. Okay, well, it's okay. You're here, there's nothing you can do. But this is where you want to go. How am I going to get there? Because at the end of the day, that's the goal. And you will not stress about any other thing because the negativity is there as much as the positivity is. So it's not about trying to stay positive. No, try and find out who you are. Try and write your values. That, for me, is the best way to go through your problems because we all have different problems. I can't, I can't give you the remedy of, for mine. But if you're a young girl and you can sit down and say, this is what I want to be and this is how I think I'm going to get there, the plan can change, but the goal should never change. And if anger is one of them that you struggle with, take it out. If being unhappy is one of them, if comparing yourself to somebody or your stomach isn't flat enough or, you know, your nose isn't pointy or your skin is too dark, those are things you cannot change just by doing it outside. You can do it outside, but it still wouldn't change who you are inside. And so I would say, focus this is something that and anytime something negative happens 
I, okay, this is something that I do that I'll share with you. Anytime something negative happens in my life, or it's like a surprise, which happens, I mean, yeah, every time, I mean, I just say to myself, I am on another, I have taken another step to where I want to be. Because I've said to myself that all the negative things are the steps that I actually take to get where I want to be. They are the steps. So I don't fight them. I don't see them as, oh, no, 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 that cannot happen. I'm like, okay, I have to take another step. So I have to change my, you know, I have to change the way I look at it and say, I'm still going to be happy because that's number one. So how am I going to be happy and still reach all these goals or all these values and make sure my kids are happy and everybody else is happy? So it's in all of us. Happiness is in all of us. It's not some book you read. It's something from the inside. But the only way to get to it is to know what you want and to focus on that. That's very good. And so what would be the theme song for your life? Ah. If there would be one, what would be it? A theme song? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know. Like one that's already out? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Or one you could create. <laughs> okay, well, I really like that. Do, 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 Be happy. Do, do. I love that song too. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. Because, you know, it, it talks about everything, whether it's negative or positive, and it says, Don't worry, be happy. And it always puts a smile on my face when I'm when I'm sad, yes. Good, good. <laughs>